Now, the Tamil Tigers' new leader has told Channel 4 News that hundreds of fighters are under his command despite the Sri Lankan army's devastating military assault in May. Salvarasa Pathmapan has given his first ever television interview to Channel 4 News from a hidden location. Sri Lanka insists he's a terrorist guilty of atrocities, but he tells us his efforts to meet officials for talks have been turned down and the war is very far from over. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller has this special report. Interpol lists him as wanted for terrorism and crimes against life and health. Male, aged 54, his only known distinguishing feature, hair combed sideways. These, the many faces of Shanmugam Kumaran Tarmalingam, born Jaffna Sri Lanka, alias Selvarasa Patmanatan, alias Kumaran Patmanatan, or just plain KP. For two and a half decades, KPs roamed the world on 23 different passports, racketeering and gun running. He made possible the suicide bombings and other grisly excesses of the Tamil insurgency. Now, he's been officially announced as the new leader of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. Against the backdrop of Sri Lanka's boastful propaganda that the Tigers have been annihilated, the statement said, it is our historic duty to rise up and fight for our legitimate rights. After an elaborate international journey, Channel 4 News was secretly escorted to an undisclosed destination outside Sri Lanka to meet the man who for 25 years the Colombo government has hunted and failed to track down. He has never before been interviewed face to face. He spent his life on the run and he now claims authority to speak on behalf of Sri Lanka's vanquished Tamil minority. The Tamil Tigers were militarily defeated in May and in the final onslaught, their founding leader, the Lupalai Prabhakaran, was killed. Under his orders, the Tigers assassinated many moderate Tamils who might have provided alternative leadership. Now, KP is his anointed successor. Still, we have a fighting force. We can continue our armed struggle. We have uh, our friends and fighters they are in jungles. We silence the gun. They accept my leadership. Okay, we silence the gun. They silence. They are waiting for my next instruction. Okay. We, have, we can continue the fighting years and years. It's not very difficult. KP claims to have between 1,500 and 2,000 fighters still in the jungle under his command. But for now, he says, he's called an end to the armed struggle. The international community expect from us uh, to find a political solution. But the Sri Lankan government, they are not ready to find a solution. At no point did KP actually renounce violence. In fact, with 300,000 Tamils still imprisoned behind barbed wire in camps, he warned that the armed struggle might be rekindled if Sri Lanka's ultranationalist president, Mahinda Rajapaksha, doesn't release them and fails to deliver on promises to grant Tamils equal rights. Actually, it's a, a concentration camp. There's still more than 50 days, they don't uh, allow any free media. The people are every day dying. They don't have enough food or medicine. They divide the children and the parents. Uh, they divide the husband and wife. And they keep them uh, as a... Um, uh, slaves, they are keeping our people inside the camp. Uh, and they treat as um, uh, slaves. But it's, it's like a revenge. Uh, I don't understand. Like, uh, if he wants to be a good uh, okay, leader, he should find a way to release the people and find a way to solve the problem. They are going to create the armed struggle again if they go like this. But the government's not taking any chances with those it's incarcerated, saying they'll stay until they've all been screened for possible links to the Tigers. 
Foreign aid workers told us today that conditions in the camps had slightly improved, but that food rations are still inadequate and that killer diseases remain prevalent. One senior aid worker told us, I don't think they can hide hundreds of bodies every day, but we don't have access to the camps and we don't have access to the figures. Nobody is able to make an independent assessment of these people's needs, they said. This raises suspicion and worry. The camps remain a potent rallying point for the Tamil diaspora and for KP, who extorted huge sums of money from the exile community to buy weapons and amass cash and assets worth between $1 billion and $5 billion, the government claims. KP makes no apology for his part in a conflict in which more than 80,000 people died. They started it, he kept saying, they killed our people. His only expressed regret, the tiger's use of child soldiers. We, we don't agree the child soldiers. Sometime in the movement also, inside the organization, some error, some people, they, they took the child soldiers. I agree, but the, it's a, some error. Uh, we say that, uh, sorry for that. I don't deny everything, but some still there, uh, some mistake, I agreed. But I never agreed or I never accept the child soldiers. Inevitably, KP paints himself as a freedom fighter. The Tigers are not the blood-soaked terrorists the president claims, he says. What is the problem? I don't understand. It's uh, okay until uh, May. He say terrorist, terrorist, terrorist. In this uh, freedom struggle, even see the Nelson Mandela uh, uh, say the Arafat, Jasser yes, Arafat. They are the wounded persons. So the. Sri Lankan government, they use every tactics to uh, wipe out our freedom struggle. In happier times, a picture of tigers playing with leopards in Sri Lanka's northern jungles when the dream of an independent Tamil Elam was still alive, and so was Valupalai Prabhakaran, here on the left. And that's the elusive KP, right in the center, exactly where he finds himself now. The man who built the Tigers' military might now in charge by default of an organization that's been militarily crushed. No option really but to pursue a different path. KP's claim of legitimacy as leader resting on the fact that he's the sole survivor of Prabhakaran's inner circle. He was my best friend, he said. I don't know how I'll recover. He says they shared the same dream. Save my people and give the freedom for them. And uh, uh, let them stay peacefully without the bombing sound and without shooting fire. Let them free our children, go to school and they play and they catch our hand and play and it is my life dream. It's um, nothing else. And with that, the tall man in the baseball cap, who says he's learning to meditate to help take his mind off things and who likes to go jogging returned to his life on the run. That exclusive interview with uh, Jonathan Miller there. Well, in response to the allegations made by Pat Manatan, the Sri Lankan High Commission in London told us, we do not recognize Salvarasa Pat Manatan as the leader of the Tamil Tigers, or LTTE. No such organization exists in Sri Lanka because the military operations in May saw its total elimination. Salvarasa Pat Manatan is wanted by Interpol for his many atrocities, we are willing to negotiate a peaceful solution. We are currently talking with moderate Tamil political parties. And the LTTE claim that Tamils are dying in camps is totally untrue. Now, to see the full version of the Sri Lankan government statement, just go to our website. Now, a report into the policing of the climate camp protest at King's North Power Station in Kent last year has criticized the way police use stop and search powers. With the details and more of the day's news, over to Krishnan. Around 1,500 people attended the camp.